How low can you go? Can you go down low all the way to the flow? Hopefully you cannot go down too low because we're looking at lows. And why would you do that? That's dangerous. That's dangerous on the dance floor. We have an earnings date tomorrow, tomorrow morning before the market opens. You know you shouldn't be doing this. But I <laughs> Thanks, Terry. I appreciate you being concerned with me and my well-being. But I was just thinking, hey, you know, Home Depot kind of gave us a preview of things to come for lows. At least that's my investment thesis for this trade. Because on May 16th, Home Depot reported what the market initially interpreted to be a bad earnings report, even though it was actually good. But their forecast, their guidance for the future, of course, was a little, hey, now hold your horses. We think the consumer is going to spend less money on home repairs and home improvement. So they dropped. They dropped that day about 2.7%. And let's take a look at that chart, Home Depot, and then what has transpired since then. So Home Depot, let's go to the one month so we can capture before and after on that May 16th earnings report. So here we go. Here's May 15th, okay? La -da -da, la -da -la -la -la. Home Depot's at 288, and then they report on that Monday. No, they reported on that. What day of the week was that? 15, 16. Carry the one. So the, here's the 15th, 288, 66, and then plummet on May 16th when they reported their earnings, and they went down about 2.7%. But look what they've done since then. They've gained it all back and then some to where they stand now at 289 29. So I was thinking, hmm, is our friends over at Lowe's going to perform the same way? Are we going to interpret their initial earnings report tomorrow morning as, ah, I don't like the sound of that, but then just climb right back up to essentially where they're at now, or if they perform the same way Home Depot did, to higher because we're getting a little pre-action. They're already down $2.58, $2.61 on today's trading. They were as low as two hundred three thirty-four. dollars So is there a credit spread that can capture that thought process, that investment thesis based on their way higher than average implied volatility on this trade at the 190 strike? It's at 5662 IV implied volatility. So I was looking all the way down here. This was a this would be a put credit spread expiring in four days, which is May 26th. And I was going to enter the short leg at 190. And then I was going to buy that long leg, daddy long leg at 185, creating a 36 cent credit. And I was just going to look at maybe three contracts on that. Three contracts. Let's go three contracts. Which pushes pushes up pushes us up. Drink more coffee. I've had too much as it is. Let's see what can we fill it at. at Three thirty nine cents. It would be one hundred seventeen dollars collected on this put credit spread between one ninety and one eighty five. So we'd be five dollars wide. That's five hundred times three. So that'd be fifteen hundred dollars in collateral on this short term trade into earnings, which of course typically is dangerous on the dance floor. So let's see if we can fill this trade. There we go, $117 on $1,500 collateral, which you know with fancy land math is a pretty, pretty big number. 117 divided by 1,500, 7.8% on a four day trade. And then the fantasy land math would be divided by four multiplied by the annualized 365 to give a 711% return on our collateral, which would be $1,500 in this case. But that would be repeating this trade over and over and over again and collecting the same results. So we will take a look at that. We have three contracts, 190. And the other reason that I thought that would be interesting is this 190. If we look at lows and we go to dividends, okay? So their dividend payout is $4.20, right? $4.20 a share. 
per year. So 420. And if we paid 190, you know, say we, it went all the way down to 190, we sold off the long leg and then we're assigned on the short at 190. Then we'd be looking at increasing their, their dividend yield to 2.21%. 2.21% is way higher than their average right at 162 so dividend yield theory says that'd be a good deal that would be a good deal so we'll see we'll see how that goes i thought it would be interesting just to try to take a look at home depot how they did exactly cuz i see both of those companies as, as very similar except when i was digging in a little bit deeper lowe's is trading at just over 15 on forward pe ratio so if you see just right on the cover here of Yahoo Finance, they have a P-E ratio of 20. But if we go to statistics and look at forward P-E, if we look at the forward P-E, it's only 15, okay? 15 on their price to earnings. And then if we look at Home Depot, which I consider to be a fairly identical company, and we go to there, because right now, see, they show their PE at 17, which is lower than what Lowe's showed at 20. But then we go to statistics here and look at the forward price to earnings. They're at 18, okay? So they're going up as far as their price to earnings, and Lowe's is coming down. So, haha, -ha. we'll see. I may be proven immediately wrong <laughs> tomorrow. But we still have the rest of the week to let that play out because if it plays out just like Home Depot, then tomorrow lows will be down. And by the end of the week, they'll be back up and our strike price will not be threatened. So that's the idea. Obviously, there's caveats that come into play. We can get some bad news regarding the debt ceiling negotiations. We can get some more um, economic statements from all the, the, the feds. They're, they get all the fed speakers out there saying crazy stuff. Like one of them said today, I, I, I don't know. I think we're going to have two to three more interest rate hikes this year. It's like, zip it, zippy. Leave, leave my trades alone. All right, so that's what I'm checking in with. First and foremost, here on Monday, 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 May 22nd, 2023. It's 1057 a.m. Central Standard Time. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe, like, comment, share, and I'll see you in the next video.